So this video is to talk about how to calculate bond values in Excel. So we're going to start to with a problem. You wish to purchase a 10 year bond with a thousand dollar face value that makes semi annual interest payments of $50. If you require 8% yield to maturity, what price would you be willing to pay for the bond? So we did previously, we talked about time value of money in a different video. So present value, future value, payment, PMT, K is interest rate, so that you know what I'm talking about here, and N is number of periods. Okay, so let's talk about the information we have here. So face value on a bond is $1,000. That's the future value they're going to pay you out when the bond matures. The number of periods. Now it says it's going to be a 10 year bond, but it pays semi annual payments. So we have to take the 10 years and multiply it by two because there's 20 payment periods. They told us that they're paying semi annual interest payments of $50, right? And then it says we have want a market, we require rate an 8% yield to maturity. So we take the 8%. And we divide by two so that we match it with the payment period. And then we want to know what we'll pay with for this today. So we're solving present value. So I'm going to go to the FX. Now in the original time value of money that's not bonds, we put in, uh, oops, that's not the formula I want. So I wanted to touch present value. So FX, present value. Okay. So we're not going to put any negative signs until we're finished the formula. So our rate is K, our number of periods is 20, our payment is 50. We're going to come out with a negative number and then we'll swap the sign. And our future value is $1,000. So given this information, we'd be willing to pay $1,135.90 for this bond. All right, let's move on to another bond problem. If you had a $1,000 face value bond, 30 year bond that pays 12% and market is paying 13%, what are you willing to pay for this bond? All right, so we got present value, future value, PMT, K, and N. All right. We have a thousand dollar face value bond, so that's going to go in future value, thousand bucks, right? Um, we have a bond; it's thirty years. It's paying twelve percent interest, and market is thirteen. So market's going to go in the K. So market's thirteen percent. Our bond. So to calculate payment, we are going to take this bond and multiply by 12%. So that's for the interest payment that we're getting paid annually. It did not say semi-annually in this problem, but most bond problems usually are, but it did not say that. So, and now we're gonna solve for present value. So PV is an interest rate of 13%. The number of periods is 30. The payment is 120 and our future value is a thousand dollars we are willing to pay 925 dollars for a thousand dollar bond that's because this bond is paying 12 percent but market is paying 13 so we would want it discounted from the face value because it's not paying what market's paying so this makes sense all right, Appleton has a 25-year bond issued five years ago that has a $1,000 face value and a coupon rate of 8%. What are the bond yield prices at the following, what are the bond yields at the following prices? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little formula here. So we're going to start with market price, then we're going to have coupon rates. So we're going to have annual payment and then bond yield. These are the things that we're going to put in and calculate. So we'll make these bold, these categories, and then we're going to 
make this look pretty so you can understand what I'm doing. And then we have A. So it says, what are we going to have if it's at 770? So that's the market price, 770. So formula. And they're saying if our coupon rate is 8%, right? And our annual payment, how do we calculate our annual payment? Well, we take the 8% times 1,000, which is the face value of the bond. And the bond yield formula, so I'll put this in here for you. Bond yield equals market price divided by sorry, annual payment. Annual payment divided by market price. Okay. So equals annual payment divided by market price. And we're going to format bond yields into a percentage and do that. So there it is. So on A bond, it's at 770. Then we have B, it's what 1200. Sorry, one, two, zero, zero, eight percent, eight. The formula is still the same, so I'm just going to drag it down. And the formula for the yield is the same, so drag that down. So at 1,200, it'd be yielding 6.67, and then C at $1,000, 8%. It's yielding 8%. Well, that makes sense if it's selling at face value and it's a coupon rate of 8%. And the annual payment is eighty dollars. Then it is eight percent. The yield is the coupon rate. All right. So that's how to calculate bond yields. Make this bold for you. And in my class, I will post a setup worksheet so you can follow along, and a final one with the answers. You are the best. Has a ten-year bond, thousand-dollar face value with a coupon rate of 9%. What would you pay for the bond if the market rate was seven, 15, and three? All right, so this is three different time value of money problems. So I'm gonna call it A, B, C, okay? All right, then I'm gonna set up the time value of money, all right? F, B, Present value PV, FB, PMT, K and N. All right. So on all of these, the future value is the thousand dollar face value. Let's do this. All right. So the payment. All right, the coupon rate is 9%. So the payment would equal 9%. We're going to say this is semi annually, right? Equals this times 0 0.09, right? It doesn't say semi annually, but most bonds are. And divide by 2. So we take the coupon rate. So I'll go back and show you what I did. So I'll go down here and put a little formula. Coupon rate is 9%. Base value equals $1,000. They gave us this in the problem, right? Our annual interest payment equals the 9% times the $1,000. So our semi-annual equals the $90 divided by two. So we're just gonna say that in all of these, the coupon rate was the same. So I'm gonna say 
And if I want to copy something and I don't want it to change cells, I use function F4. So I'm going to say I always want it to be $45 in the payment because it's the same. All right. Now, the difference is the coupon rate, the uh, market rate is different in each of these problems. So it's 7% divided by 2 on this one. It's 15% divided by 2 on this one. And it's 3% divided by 2 on this one. Put on my equal sign. Equals. Now look at the terms. What do we have here? It's a 10 year bond. So if it's 10 years, it's 10 times 2 for semi annual interest. I'm just going to drag that over. So now I'm just solving for present value. So present value is rate, which is K, time, rate, the number of periods, the payment and the future value. It's going to come out with a negative number and then I'm going to go in and fix the negative number like this. All right. And then I'm going to control C, control V. This one doesn't look right to me, and that's because I 15% divided by 2. All right. So this one is a 7%, this one is a 15%, and this one is a 3%. So this makes sense, because if we're paying 9%, and this bond is paying 9%, and market's only paying 7 then we should be willing to pay more than face value. If this bond is paying 9%, and markets are paying 15, we're less, we should be at a discount with present value, which it is. And this one, if this bond is paying 9% and market is only paying three, we should be a lot more than face value, which is what we are at 1500. All right, so one more bond problem. Let's follow this. All right, do you have a face value $1,000 bond? with the following market and coupon rates. What are the yields? So this is another yield calculation. So we're going to do market value, annual payment, bond yield. All right. Make these categories. I'm going to make them bigger. Make these bold. Oops. All right. So on the first one, we have a market value of 1,225, right? The interest rate, the coupon rate is 10%. So you take $1,000 times 0.1. So that's your annual payment. Remember, our bond yield formula is annual payment divided by market value. So the yield on this bond, we're going to format in a percentage, and we're going to make it like that. All right. So on this one, if the market value is 1,225 and the annual payment, the actual bond yield is 8.1% if the annual payment is 100. All right. So 875. We got 8% equals 8% times 8% time times 1,000. And so I'll format these as this. And then I will just drag down my bond formula. And then the final one is a $1,000 coupon. Oops, it's much higher. $1,000 market value and equals 0.12 times $1,000. So 
if we're selling a thousand dollars market value and the annual payment is 120, then the bond yield is 12%, which is the interest rate. Anytime market value and face value are the same, then the yield and the coupon rate are the same. And so this is an overview of how to calculate bond values and bond yields in Excel.